Welcome to Item Breakdown, a series where I analyze every single item in Mario Maker 2, go over their properties, and find interesting ways to use them in our own levels. This video is all about the Bill Blaster. A Bill Blaster is a gizmo asset available in every game style. It is considered solid and is also affected by gravity. It is one tile wide and can be between 2 and 14 tiles tall. A Bill Blaster will launch a bullet bill every 4 seconds, either left or right from the highest point of its body. The direction it fires depends on which side of the Bill Blaster Mario is on. And in this week's episode of Spaghetti Code, what is up with bullet bill blasters in multiplayer? First question, will the Bill Blaster fire to the left or to the right? If you chose to the right, you'd be correct! Now, the Plumber Brothers have swapped places. Same question, will it fire to the left or the right? If you chose to the right... Oh, so sad! Bill Blasters in multiplayer seem to prioritize shooting towards Mario. Seems like they, just like everyone else, always forget about Luigi. Final question, for all the mushrooms. Will the Bill Blaster fire to the left or to the right? If you chose to the left... Oh, looks like Luigi decided to jump, which for some reason influenced the Bill Blaster to shoot towards Luigi instead. What does this all mean? Who knows? Tune in next time to Spaghetti Code. A Bill Blaster will not fire if a solid object is directly in front of the head, or if Mario is within one tile away from it, either horizontally or vertically. The only way a Bill Blaster is destroyed is if it is crushed or ground pounded by Mario in a giant stiletto. The bullet bill a Bill Blaster blasts will damage Mario on impact, unless Mario jumps on it. It is unaffected by any terrain or solid objects, except in the 3D World game style where it does have collision with terrain, other objects, and enemies. It will destroy block blocks, question mark blocks, hard blocks, ice blocks, and crates upon collision, as well as activate on-off switches, red pow blocks, and exclamation mark blocks to their maximum amount. Cat Mario is also able to swipe a bullet bill, causing it to travel in the opposite direction. A Bill Blaster can contain and launch most other objects in the game. The objects it can't contain are shown here with a red circle around them. A Bill Blaster will launch a contained item approximately three and a half blocks horizontally on a flat surface, assuming the Bill Blaster is two tiles high and is also resting on the same flat surface. A Bill Blaster will launch most objects placed inside it continuously, Although there are some exceptions to this, as well as some unique properties for certain objects. A Bill Blaster with the following objects placed inside it will launch one at a time, only launching another once the first is no longer loaded. A Bill Blaster with a coin placed inside it will launch 10 coins at a time, up to a maximum of 30 coins. One with a 1-up mushroom placed inside it will launch up to a maximum of 3. A Bill Blaster with a Shellmint or Drybones shell placed inside it will launch the shell. The top of a Buzzy Beetle Shellmint is uniquely able to carry other objects as well as Mario in this state. Finally, a Bill Blaster with a Chain Chomp placed inside it will only launch Unchained Chomps. A Bill Blaster has one variant, a Bullseye Blaster. It will fire a Bullseye Bill, which homes in on Mario's location. Like most things though, this doesn't last forever. Eventually the Bullseye Bill gives up its pursuit and flies off the screen. A Bullseye Blaster launches objects placed inside it much farther and at a much greater speed than a regular Bill Blaster. That is, approximately 7 tiles horizontally on a flat surface. Again, assuming the Bullseye Blaster is 2 tiles high and on that same flat surface. While a Bill Blaster cannot be given wings or a parachute, it is able to contain and dispense objects that can. Rest assured that these items fly horizontally across the screen in the direction they are launched in if winged, and descend slowly towards the bottom of the screen resuming basic behavior when they land if parachuting. A Bill Blaster cannot be placed inside a block, pipe, or other Bill Blaster. They also cannot be placed inside or grabbed by a swinging claw. 
However, a bullet bill is. A bill blaster can be placed inside and occupy a Koopa Clown car and Lakitu's cloud. While in these vehicles, they ignore solid objects. However, they are still considered solid objects themselves. A bill blaster of any size can be placed on a track and is attached by the base. Just like in vehicles, it ignores solid objects while still functioning as a solid object itself. A bill blaster cannot be given a key, or any enemy containing a key. A bill blaster can activate a P switch from above and from below. A bill blaster falls much more slowly in liquids and is not destroyed by either lava or poison. It will also not fire if the head is over halfway submerged in lava or poison. The rate at which one fires does not change while submerged in water. In the night airship and sky themes, both the bill blaster and the objects it launches are affected by low gravity. An asset with a clear condition inside a bill blaster will allow you to increase the amount needed to clear the course. 10 for all enemies, 3 for 1-up mushrooms, 4 for pow blocks and p-switches, and 30 for coins. Both a bill blaster and a bullseye blaster share the same parts clear condition, requiring the player to defeat a certain amount of either kind of bullet bill in order to reach the goal. So, now that we know how it works, how do we work with it? The Bill Blaster is an incredible tool for all creators alike, and that's not even accounting for the fact that you can put almost every other object in the game into it. With that many interactions comes countless possibilities, which is why it's highly considered one of the most useful items we have at our disposal. I had actually been dreading making this video, given just how grand this gizmo really is. But here we are, Bill Blaster item breakdown. It's happening. So let's not waste any more time and get right into the action that hopefully starts making your gears turning. Bill Blasters and their brethren Bullet Bill's debut was in 5-1 of Super Mario Bros. While their challenges might have gained some complexity over the years, the basic application in traditional levels remains the same. A cannon with a constant supply of suppressing fire to keep the player on their toes. I think the most important thing to mention here is how to pick the best spot for your Bill Blasters. Typically, you'll want them either at ground level, to make standing in one spot dangerous, or up higher to intercept a player's jump. It's also reasonable to note that with more than two Bill Blasters on screen, things can start feeling like enemy spam. Try to lay out your Bill Blasters in such a way that a player is never stuck in a spot that is seemingly impossible not to take damage in given the sheer amount of bullet bills on screen. I could leave this section at that, but this is Mario Maker. The definition of traditional levels is much more fluid in a game with so many creative opportunities. So how about a traditional level that uses bill blasters in a non-traditional way? Case in point, in this example we use bill blasters as moving floors and ceilings, threatening to crush the player if they don't time their movement carefully. We could also reverse this challenge, instead using the Bill Blasters as helpful walls for the player to wall jump off of. Notice that all of these blasters have been filled with unimpactful items, such as coins or 1-up mushrooms. This is because the challenge we want to present with them doesn't involve them shooting out enemies. While we can't fill a Bill Blaster with air, we can fill it with items like these to ensure it doesn't pose any unwanted threats. The Bill Blaster has many different uses when it comes to puzzle levels. It could be simply an infinite item supplier, ensuring the player has the right tools at all times, or it could be at the center of the puzzle, by figuring out how to either make it fire, make it stop firing, or moving it to a certain spot. I particularly love how creator Paxman has used them in their level, called Exclamatory Cannon Conundrums. It's filled with really creative setups involving Bill Blasters on conveyor belts, and figuring how to get past them with certain items. Kaizo levels can absolutely take advantage of our Bullet Bill Blaster buddies. They can be used as progress impeding walls that must be knocked down by skillful bob on bops Even a pure, unaltered Bill Blaster can provide some simple Bullet Bill bounces. Keep in mind though that, for some reason, the time at which a Bill Blaster fires is determined at a global level, and not once the Bill Blaster is on screen. This can cause some unfortunate moments, where if a player goes through a section either too fast or too slow, the Bill Blaster doesn't fire when the creator intended. 
Make sure to always test your Bill Blaster sections from the start of your level, and try to test what will happen if you go slower or faster than you normally would. Or, you know, turn on auto-scroll, which solves the problem. There's tons of different combinations and setups with Bill Blasters, but one of my favorites is the Shell Train. By firing multiple Buzzy Beetle and Spiny Shell Mitts from Blasters, the player must take a ride on a train these shells have formed. The group of shells serves as a constantly moving platform the player must stand on, while other obstacles present themselves throughout the level. Last but certainly not least, the Bill Blaster blends in beautifully with all sorts of contraptions. It's no wonder, given it's the closest thing we have to a plain physics block in the game. From their simplest applications as gate openers, to their most complicated as literal calculators, the Bill Blaster is sure to find a home. In 3D World, a Bill Blaster makes for a fantastically easy timer setup. Simply placing a regular old Bill Blaster within a corridor of destructible blocks means that the player must wait in this area until the Bullet Bill is finally able to reach the question mark block on the other side. The same can be done in the classic game styles, only this Bill Blaster is loaded with a spike ball. One of my favorite uses for them is making them magically appear due to spawn blocking. Essentially, if overlapped with a destructible block or two-stay block of some sort, the Bill Blaster won't spawn. That is, it won't spawn unless the block is destroyed and the room is reloaded. Some really useful and clever setups can be made with spawn blocking items, and the Bill Blaster is a top contender given its adjustable height and the fact that pretty much every other item can be placed right inside it. And that's just the ammo of this pellet willy piece. If you're looking for more inspiration, check out another one of these item breakdowns. A huge thank you to all of my patrons and YouTube members for making this series possible, and I'll see you in the next one.